Welcome to this video tutorial about integrating a Mobotics camera into Genetech Security Center. From Security Center version 5.6, Genetech supports and certifies Mobotics cameras that support the Genetech protocol. This applies to all cameras of the 1424 and 1525 series that are running the camera firmware release MX version 4.4.2 and higher. With the integration of Mobotics cameras into the video management software Security Center from Genetech, this professional system will be extended with the features of the innovative Mobotics decentralized concept. With Security Center 5.6, the following Mobotics key benefits will be supported by the Genetech software. MXPEC The MXPEC codec, designed and implemented by Mobotics, is especially designed for security applications with highest image quality. It ensures no loss of details and guarantees minimal network load. If necessary, the Motion JPEG full-frame video stream can be acquired from the Mobotics camera. Virtual PT Set In 2008, Mobotics invented the 360 degrees hemispheric camera technology. Compared to other brands, hemispheric processing is done on board to increase image quality and to reduce network bandwidth. The 180 degrees panoramic view with onboard image correction delivers realistic impressions of the scene with sharp details at the lowest possible bandwidth. The concept of no mechanical moving parts in the camera ensures minimum maintenance and highest MTBF. And all this can be controlled by the Genentech security desk. Multicast IP streams. The advantage of multicast streams is that the camera is not stressed by multiple streams requested by video clients. This means multiple security desks can work simultaneously without loss of frame rate. Mobotics cameras provide integrated event detection. Special video motion events can be configured via the Genetech config tool and received by the Genetech security desk. Other events like video analytic events or environmental events detected by the camera can also trigger the security desk to pop up alarms on the screen. Digital in and outputs connected to the camera in the field. The user is enabled to open the gate, switch on lights with the same user interface. Two-way audio channels ensure communication with anybody who is close to a Mobotics camera. Before you can add the camera to the Genetech Security Center using the Genetech Config tool, you need to adjust some basic settings of the camera. These steps will be presented to you in the next couple of minutes. First of all, you have to update the camera software to the latest firmware, version 4.4.2 and higher. Click Admin menu in the browser interface of the camera, then Update System Software and follow the instructions. Next to this, the configuration has to be resetted to factory defaults. In the Admin menu, go to Reset Configuration to Factory Defaults and follow the instructions. When done, a new user has to be created which is assigned to the group admin with access to the live image. Please go to Security in the Admin menu, then Users and Passwords. As an example, we have created the user Genetech. Now, the authentication method of the web server has to be set to auto or digest. This can be done on your web server. The next step is to activate the Genetech protocol, MXPEC Stream 1, and audio for MXPEC Stream 1. In the section Camera Administration, click Integration Protocols to set these settings. If you need the microphone and speakers of the camera and security center, you must activate them in the section Audio and Voice over IP Telephony. The 
Additionally, the audio stream and the dialogue integration protocols needs to be enabled. Please note that Security Center only uses the audio stream that is bundled with MXPEC Stream 1. To use the camera microphone, you thus need to activate MXPEC Stream 1 and its enable audio option. To set the resolution and the display mode, go in the setup menu to general image settings. The parameters image size and JPEG quality are especially important. These parameters control the maximum image size and JPEG quality that will be available in the Genetech system. You will get the best frame rate of the RTP streams in Security Center if you are using the same settings for image size and JPEG quality as on the camera. If Security Center uses a smaller image size or a lower JPEG quality, the camera needs to scale down and recode the RTP stream. Scaling and recoding the RTP stream will always reduce the frame rate. It is thus recommended to set up one stream MXPEG1 that is used for both live images and recording. It uses the same image size and JPEG quality as in the live image generated by the camera. In addition, you can define one or more streams that create smaller preview images, maybe even at reduced frame rates. To arm the camera and activate required events, Go to Event Control in the Setup menu and then go on to the General Event Settings and Event Overview. To deactivate the recording in the camera, go to Event Control and do so. Now we will show you how the camera is being integrated into Security Center. There are two ways to do so. The first one is to do it manually and the second one by using the Genetech Discovery tool. To add the camera manually, use the Genetech Config tool. Go to Plus Video Unit and select Mobotics as manufacturer. Select MXPEC integration as product type and enter the camera IP address in the corresponding field. Select specific authentication. Finally, enter the user and password as added on the camera and click add. camera is now in the system. You can also add a camera by using the Genetech Discovery protocol. In the config tool, click Unit Enrollment. Check if Mobotics is chosen as a manufacturer. And start discovery. Choose the camera in the list and enter the user and password as added on camera. Click Add down below to integrate the camera. Additionally, we are offering you some special tips on the configuration. The following changes to the camera configuration while Security Center is running should be followed by the reconnect device command. Change of frame rate, activation or deactivation of microphone and speaker, change of image size and display mode. If the Genetech system should make use of one or more UDP multicast streams, you need to apply the following settings. First of all, copy the multicast IP address and port as shown in Security Center. In the config tool, select camera then click Video tab and Network Settings. Copy the multicast IP address and the port. Now open the browser interface of the camera and go to the Integration Protocol section in the Admin menu. In the Global Settings section of the dialog, set the multicast interface. RTP server can only be reached using this interface and IP address. Next, open the section of the corresponding stream, activate Enable Multicast, enter Multicast IP address and the Multicast port as copied from Security Center. If you need to rotate the camera image by 90 or 270 degrees, open the camera's browser interface. 
go to the general image settings, mirror and rotate image, rotation, and select your rotation. In addition, you need to deactivate the window orientation option. Inside the integration, there are known limitations and workarounds. Please find these in the latest release informations. In the name of Mobotics, I thank you very much for your attention and wish you a great day.